What is up guys, IndieGamer Rachel here, and welcome back to The Last Dead End for the PC. I want to give a shout out to AZ Dimensions for sending me a copy of this. It is very much appreciated, guys. I also wanted to apologize for not having uploaded anything in the last couple of weeks. I've just been dealing with a lot of uh, pre-holiday stuff. I try to clean up my house, uh, work-related things, and other such in real life stuff. So, again, sorry about that. Uh, the last thing I did was I came into the Palace of the Shervenshaw to look for some Frasers. And I think I'm going here. Yeah, because like one Fraser had a dragon that depicts evil, one had a son that depicts um, goodness, and then I found another one that was like a warrior or something. So it depicts like a final battle, and I think I'm looking for another Fraser. It talks about, um, like, I think I'm looking for one that tells me, like, when or where it happens or something. I say they might have one, like, in the bathhouse of the Shervenshaw. Jarvis out of the bathhouse, 19 December, 1930. Ooh. Ooh, the doggo. Ooh, a big doggo. Scurry doggo. Yes, yes, I'll woo to you too. Enemy is vulnerable when he runs away from player. I'm gonna switch to my gun. Here, puppy. Oh shit, no, 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 get away. I don't want you in here. No, no, no. Ouch. Ow. 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 Oh god, you mean. Oh, you mean, doggo. Ouch. Okay, so it does, in fact, do increase damage when you shoot from behind for some reason. Where's that health? Give it. God, you fucking hoid. Eh, no. There's a little bit of damage from the front. No. Eh, no, 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 no. And, oh, hello. Oh, he can kill those things too. Nice. No. Run, you bastard. I 
many of these zombie things. Holy crap. That was not pleasant. Of course, I probably could have done this a lot better than that, but... You know what? It's dead. I'm not dead. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Next to a encyclopedia or was added. I will get that in a moon memento, four for four. <laughs> oh god, excuse me. Yeah. And they had a thing that was around here somewhere? Where is it at? There it is. Watch the moon. Uh, yeah, it's a moon. Oh. So bad for Doggo. I mean, yes, he was trying to, like, murder my face, but... It's Doggo. Okay, so it won't actually let you pick up health if you're already full. Well, that's actually good to know. A lot of other games, you go to pick up health, even when you're full, it'll still let you take it anyway, which is kind of stupid. Oop, body. Well, skeleton, technically. God, that thing was mean. Holy crap. Yana de oh never mind. Sabel Castle, time is unknown. Encyclopedia was added. Alrighty. Let's see. The ghoul. In Turkic mythology and Azerbaijanis and Turks, ghouls are mentioned as an evil spirit or individuals living in deserted places, cemeteries, deserts, frightening night travelers, pilgrims of the caravans. He could also be met in dungeons, ruins, and on the battlegrounds. Azerbaijanis use such definitions as Mesha Adami, a forest man, and Tuklu Adam, hairy man, along with Julia Bani, I guess. According to the belief of the Abijanis, the ghoul has the feature of the werewolf, liking to ride a horse and tangle its mane. In accordance with belief, if someone catches it and sticks a needle in the collar of its clothes, he, as a slave, cool, means slave in Azerbaijani, will work the man. Um, but all the orders of the owner will be done in a reversive manner. In world mythology, a werewolf is a mythological being that can temporarily change its appearance magically. Okay, there we go. Transforming from a person into another being, a plant or an object, or vice versa. In European folklore, the most characteristic image of a werewolf is a human wolf. Okay, so that's a werewolf. Well, that's a ghoul, technically. I guess that's just what they call ghouls in their culture. And Sabale Castle? In 1235, the ruler of the Shervan Shervan Shah, Farber's, built fortifications on one of the rocky islands of Bale Bay. It was a castle in a shape of an irregular rectangle, 180 meters long and 40 meters wide. It was surrounded by a fortress wall 2 meters thick and had 15 watchtowers. That's a lot. On the upper part of the fortress, there was a stone inscription 400 meters long, which described the genealogy of the Shervanshaw dynasty. One of the stones phrases, you can read the inscription Bender and Baku, Port of Baku. It was a sea fortress on the outskirts of the city since the Shervanshaw already had a strong fleet at the end of the 12th century. 13th century, Mongols for a long time sieged the fortress. Heavy damage was dealt by the siege weapons, but they could not take the fortress. 70 years after the construction, man. In 1306, after the earthquake and the subsequent rise in the level of the Caspian, the island, together with the fortress, disappeared underwater. 
The lowering of the Caspian Sea levels in the 1920s, the ruins of this once sunken structure were first discovered, and today, from the shore, one can see the ruins of the upper part of the fortress walls, which are 350 meters away from the shore. During archaeological exploration, which began as early as 1935, about 700 stones with inscriptions, clay vessels, copper coins, were raised from the bottom of the sea. Some of the stones are now on display in the courtyard of the Shervishaw Palace. Some historians believe that before the fortress was built, there could be a temple of fire worshippers. Huh, okay. That's cool. Alrighty. Okay. God, it's so dark in here. We're out here, technically. Oop, I see you. To find the truth, you have to meet the lion face to face to gain fearlessness. The fear. Alrighty. Oh, God. Fuck it, bitch. Ooh. symbol of Buddha. What does this sign mean? There are only the stones, rooms, and towers around. Towers. Yes, the towers. The view of the main tower from above reminds Buddha. It means that the main battle will be exactly there. And now it is left to find out when it happens. Okay. Time is frozen in the stone clock. This immutable time passes into hours, days, then months, and ends with years. Okay, so it's like the first three phrases that you learn. It's like it was added. Turn to old city. It's hard to try to keep track of what I picked up and didn't. Oh, there we go. Buja is an almond-shaped pattern with a pointed, curved upper end. It has dozens of names. A Turkish cucumber, Indian cucumber, Kashmiri ornament, paisley, you know, tear of Allah, etc. It has a similar shape as one of the halves of the Chinese symbol, yin-yang. In Sanskrit, the word Buddha means fire. It's considered that Buddha is a symbol of the divine fire, which was worshipped from the ancient times in the territories of Azerbaijan, Iran, and other countries of the East. The symbol was on ancient temples of fire worshippers, objects of everyday life of those times. The image of Buddha is found in drawings in Indian temples and a decoration of metal products. The drawings of Iranian fabrics and the patterns of carpets in Azerbaijan, especially those made in Ganja City. Magical characteristics are... Blah, magical characteristics... Buddha... To Buddhists, its ability to protect from evil spirits and evil eyes. Even with the advent of other religions and the views of the lands of Abrazerbazhan, so far Buddha has remained the emblem of Baku, city, the form of three tongues of flame. Huh, that's a... interesting shape. But yeah, so I found three freezes, or phrases, in the bathhouse. Or outside the bathhouse, Palace of the Sherman Shaw. It told me who and what. Dragon being darkness, sun being light, and then an actual sword, or warrior holding a sword, meaning conflict, so it lets you know that a battle's gonna happen. And then now I figured out when. Hello. Figured out where. Now I figured out where 
some place called the Maiden Tower. And then now I, I guess I have to figure out when. Ow! The fuck? Eh. Man, no, stupid chickens. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. Oh, Tom, I got you anyway. Pieces of bitch. That one. No? Okay, never mind. I thought those were gonna attack me too. Next to encyclopedia was added. <laughs> Drudge. The translation of the Avestan in Assyrian languages, Drudge means a lie, an abstract essence, a negative force of nature opposed to the concept of truth. In Avesta, the word Drudge is used nominally to denote female devas. Drudge was created by the god of evil, Ahriman, for the destruction of the righteousness of the world. Zoroastrianism, the most terrible product of evil, is lies. With our help, Ahriman tried to destroy or tempt Zarathustra. Drudge is connected with the moon and shows darkly hidden states that can become apparent. In addition, it is like a counter of dark karma and amplified from every dishonest, criminal, and moral act of man. The basis of the ethical doctrine of Zoroastrianism is the opposition of two concepts. Uh, oh god, excuse me. Asha and Drudge. Asha is the law of universal harmony, truth, goodness, Asha's father, Ahura Mazda. Drudge is the antithesis of Asha, literally lies, destruction, violence. According to the Avesta, all peoples are divided into two categories. Asha's, appearance of Asha, righteousness, those who seek to bring good to the world. And Drudge is deceitful, bringing evil to the world. In support of Ahura Mazda, the righteousness must defeat Drudge and prevent her devotees from ruining the world. God, what a bitch. One of these things is not like the other. Uh, 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 we got a glowy green thing. I'm assuming I'm going after that one. How? God, this try gun is so awesome. It's like the one I can only go one at a time, though. Ow. Look at that damage. Holy crap. Get away. Get away. Get away. Oh, you bitch. Shoddy ammo. Ow, ow, ow. Holy crap. Gee, Jesus Christ. That. What the crap? Really? Like, you bitch! It's not you. It can't be. No, I guess it's not. Because they literally say that thing is lies. But it's not really your... Your hot... Hoping to be side chick, but not really because she's getting married or something, so... You. Like 
two bosses back to back? Holy crap. Streets of Old City, time is unknown. Here, over here. Oh, that's on, that's on fire. That's more on fire. Okay. Nothing over here. Oh, I don't want to talk the crap out of me. Health. Why are these glowing? He's glowing for a reason. Can I do things with them? No. Oh, yes, okay. They explode. Trying to conserve health and like ammo and shit, but I won't. it's over here. Oh, the fuck! Oh. idea if I got it or not. Okay, I did get it. God, stupid chicken. What is this? Saz. It is a musical instrument of the Eastern nations like lute from the group of tambours. It is played both solo and as part of an ensemble on Saz. Okay. So it's a Middle Eastern lute. Okay. Fuck. Health? No, not health. Kerosene lamps. Lamp working on a kerosene combustion basis. The first prototype of a kerosene lamp, the oil lamp, has been described by Arazi in Baghdad of the 9th century. Okay. It's a kerosene lamp. We used to have one of those. We also used to have one of those, um, I guess now they would be called, um, space heater? I'm going this way. Am I? I think I'm going this way. Oh! Oh, it's that thing again. And it was basically, like, the same, um, functionality as a space heater now, but it was, a uh, kerosene-based. And then we had actual little tiny, like, kerosene lamps like that. Ooh, give me this. What does this say? A little accident cut down a big tree. All right. 
Fucking hoy. Nope. It's all blockaded. I have to find another way to return and to meet with Bahar to learn from her about Stone Clock. She has to know about it. a little bit. The mind is more expensive than all richness of the world. Hmm? Oh. Good thoughts, good speeches, and good deeds. Got another one over here, jeez. There's just chock full of them. Destiny is king over all and everything. Wind from which nobody can escape anywhere. Would really like some life. That's a top off. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a revolver. I don't see how that would be stronger than a shotgun. Unless it's like a magnum or something. Eh. I'll use it and like kill things. Oh. Oh. No. No. Trying to fucking do the that thing. It seems to be working, but I guess the whole point of a gun is to shoot from a distance, but I kind of really want the shotgun. I've grown accustomed to it. I mean, yes, I can only blow one at a frickin' time, but... God, those frickin' snakes and that poisoning. Yeah. Some health. I thought I saw ammo down here. Did I not see ammo down here? I thought I saw an ammo thing down here. Huh. Never mind. I'm dumb. Uh-huh. 
He is too proud to ask, he's too good to receive. Here's our path over here. Technically, yes, but it doesn't do anything. Eh. Oh, ammo. <coughs> oh, God, excuse me. Son of a bitch. Ah, no. Oh, you bastard. Oh, health. I guess I will go take that other thing now. That's not where I'm going. Holy shit. God, that was not fun. His 
vision is his weakness. Okay. Oh, hi, hello. It's you again. Why? And of course. Shots to fucking do it. Unless it might be like the werewolf and it just does more damage if I hit him in the eye. Like it did more damage to the I'm sorry, to the ghoul when I shot it in the back. But you know what? Fuck you, you're dead. Why did you do that? Ooh. Ouch. Central Streets, 20 December, 1700 hours. I am back. <sighs> it is very cold, but there were no signs of snow yesterday. a stone clock on one of the house walls of the fortress. Do you remember what time do they show? It's a very strange question. But the answer is simple. It is near my house. Approach it. I will take you to the clock. All right. So I meet with Bahar, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and call it here, guys. When I come back, I guess I will go find Bahar. And then she's supposed to take me to that stone clock so I can figure out what time it is that I need to actually do the thing to stop the evil and save the world and all that jazz. So I guess I'll take care of that when I come back. But until then, this is Indie Gamma Retro on The Last Dead End. Later, guys.